Hello and welcome to the OC Varsity Dugout Show. This is our second round and quarterfinals preview edition. From Esperanza, I'm Jonathan Camus being joined by Steve Fryer. Steve, we'll talk about Esperanza later. First, Matt, this video, first of all, will be about Division I only. We will talk about the other divisions uh, in another video. So, Division I, Cypress at El Dorado. This is an OC-OC matchup, obviously, Steve. Cypress, how good was James Acuna last time we saw him? No hitter. I mean, the kid's incredible. Taking on El Dorado. El Dorado beat Valencia 6-4. These two teams met earlier in the year with Cyprus defeating El Dorado 11-0, but that was the third game of the season. Um, a lot of familiarity with these two teams, and hey, I just like to call it a battle between two of the teams with the best fields in the county, Steve. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is. Uh, this one's at El Dorado, which yeah. is a gem of a place, and Esperanza's always been a nice yard yeah. as well behind us here. Yeah, really, uh, really good matchup, uh, John. You know, uh, Acuna pitched the gem uh, last week. The big tall kid going to Oregon, another great game from Okuna, the best I've seen him throw and the couple times I've seen him. And El Dorado, man, they come out of a pretty good league, you know, the Crestview League here and, uh, they, you know, good baseball tradition of both schools, so that should be a really fun game. Absolutely. Orange Lutheran at Huntington Beach, traditionally two juggernauts in uh, Orange yeah. County baseball. Uh, Orange Lutheran beating Canyon Springs last week, uh, H, uh, Huntington Beach beating Santiago. Um, when you have a battle, a game like this between two heavyweights, and we know it's single elimination, I mean, I just feel I just feel bad for the loser. I just got to say it. For a team like Huntington Beach that came in with this preseason national ranking, number one in the nation, and then they get a couple of tough injuries almost from the very start, and then they endure, they finish second in a really good sunset league. Yeah. So for them, the playoffs really represents a, a fresh start for Huntington Beach. So. That looks like a really cool game. Uh, I'm going to be at that one. Orange Lutheran is really playing well. It's had a, a good, finished up pretty strong in the Trinity League. Uh, they're a really good team. Maybe they're the number one team in the county, the state. I don't know. But Huntington Beach coming back with a lot of pride and, all, and holding on to that Division One title. I'm glad you rank them, buddy. Um, the winner <laughs> of that game plays the winner of the guys behind us, Esperanza. They will be at Murrieta Mesa, okay? And uh, that's on Tuesday. That's in the second round. Uh, the quarterfinals will be on Friday. Um, as far as the Aztecs here, Steve, we got a chance to talk to their head coach and a couple of players. Uh, seems like they are really happy with this squad. One of the best teams they've had in quite some time. Yeah, they, Esperanza of one of the best baseball programs over the many, many years, and they hit a couple road bumps there, but they were quite young. Come back with a lot of seniors, and here they are going to the second round. Yeah, last time the Aztecs were in the CIF championship game was 2011, and we talked to their head coach, Mike Curran, a legend in these parts. He's won 700 games, Steve. Yeah. We talked to Coach about that. Here's what he had to say. You look back, and you had to get one, you had to get five, you had to get 100 and 200, and, and, and those guys were, were good players too, so you've had a lot of good players, and it's been fun to have these good players, and I don't like to lose, so 700 wins is good, you know. Uh, I don't want to tell how many losses I got, but doggone it, I got more wins than losses, and that's good. I think this year we've really come together as a group and as a team. Uh, we've all had a lot of experience together, especially playing last year. We only had four seniors, so I think uh, as a group, we've really experienced just from the two years and really grown. We had a lot of young guys last year, only had four seniors. Uh, this year, since we had a lot of experience last year and we didn't do too great last year, uh, we hate this feeling of losing, so we came together and uh, just excelled this year. Our thanks to Esperanza for hosting us today on the Dugout Show. Beautiful field, as you mentioned, Steve. Two final teams to talk about real quick, Steve. We got Jay Sarah and Loyola. Uh, going at it on Tuesday, we have El Toro at Oaks Christian. Any final thoughts on those two South County teams? Uh, excellent pitching for both. Uh, yeah. Fluman threw another great game for El Toro last week. What you got to have, you got to have pit pitching depth, or you're going to keep going, especially in Division One. And Jay Sarah's got more of it than probably anybody. And El Toro, I mean, they're as a complete of a team as we've seen in the county. They're they're really really good. All right, well, that's going to do it for this edition of the Dugout Show. This was our Division One preview once again. To check out Divisions Two through Six, look at our YouTube channel. That's on uh, the OC Varsity YouTube channel. Thanks to Steve Fryer, I'm Jonathan Camus, and for all your latest baseball updates, check out OCVarsity.com. OCVarsity.com, where we've got you covered. Some of that was right. All right. <laughs>